Hello guys and welcome to Steve Knows. This video is going to be around feeling the world, the virtual world that you dive into on your Oculus Quest natively using B haptic gear. I've got the X40 to go over, I'll do a little review at the start of this video, and the X16, which I do have a giveaway on. So stay around for the end of the video where I will tell you how to enter that for a chance to win some of these B haptics. So in this video, I'm gonna cover the details on the vests, but then I'm going to dive in and share five great games that you can play on your Oculus Quest. And there are so many more that you can use this B haptic gear natively. So you can put on your Oculus Quest, go anywhere in the world, take these devices and be able to play virtual reality in the most immersive way possible. Disclaimer for this video, because I know some of you would like to know, I was gifted these vests and gifted one to give away for you guys, but I haven't been told to say anything positive. It's just a pure, honest review. I'm not gonna shell out just for the sake of it and be haptics know about this. So the B haptic suits have had a massive, massive redesign and they now come in the X40 edition and the X16 edition. And these numbers refer to the actuators. So the best, the higher priced one is the X40. This one has 40 points that can be activated. So if you get shot, it can be a bit more accurate as to where you were hit opposed to the X16, which only has 16 points of activation. But there is a $200 price difference. So. Maybe you don't need all those extras. I tried the X16 and it was actually kind of, it was good enough. So you, there isn't this kind of need for that immersive experience to use the X40. But if you want, of course, if you want the best of the best, then go for it. So the new design is pretty cool. It's made of this kind of like faux leather, way better to the touch. The previous model had this kind of soft touch fabric. It was very smooth to the touch, but the new design is pretty badass. It looks like kind of like a, like a SWAT vest and fake six pack there in case you haven't gone to the gym. It can make you feel a bit like a superhero. I'm Hat Man. And the nice touch is that you can actually tear off this logo here and get your own and whack it on. So, you know, if you're doing esports or streaming or you want to support something, you can get like a, I don't know, what football team do you support? Manchester United, maybe. <laughs> This new model is much easier to adjust as well. It has straps on the side that you can just tug on to tighten once you're wearing it, or you can just kind of force it apart and it will expand it, give you more room. So ranging from 25 inch chest to a 50 inch chest. So that's a that's like a small woman to a strong man that would fit in this, but Arnold wouldn't. What do you mean I cannot fit in this vest? It also has a charging port of USB type C, happy days, and it boasts 18 hours of playtime, which is very, very long, way longer than the Quest is going to last. Although I am showing the haptics being used with the Oculus Quest today, the device can be used for PC VR as well, for games such as Half-Life Alex, which was just phenomenal with this on. I did do a video on it previously and it was just so, so good. It also has a feature where it can do haptics to audio. So you can wear this vest to play standard flat screen games, playing Beat Saber, games that aren't actually natively supported yet. You can even watch films or listen to music with it on. So you can feel explosions and feel the bass, which is just such a nice touch for the fact that when you get this vest, it's not just restricted to VR. And it's definitely a party piece. If someone comes around, you have to get them in this thing to try it out. The one thing about it that one day I hope will change are the actual actuators themselves, the haptics in the vest. It's a vibration. And it, when I kind of want it to be more like the dual sense in the PlayStation 5 controller, where it's more of a thud, this would make gunshots feel more realistic for me. But the vibration's still not bad. If you're playing this on the Oculus Quest though, put headphones on because when you're playing and you hear the vibration, you hear kind of the rattle because sometimes you can have really intense feedback. It can take you out of that immersion. So you want to put headphones on so you can only feel the world and you're not hearing it instead. So if you were interested in getting these after I show you five games that are supported on the Oculus Quest, I'll leave a link down below in the description. It's not going to be an affiliate. It's just there in case you may be interested. And what I like about this though, is that it's not one of those pieces that you're going to buy, then you'll get a new headset and it's kind of going to be a waste of money when a next gen comes out. This is still going to be supported, you know, going forward as well. So you'll get that one vest and it's something that will last you over generations as well. So it's not going to be just throw away because you are kind of spending a lot of money. So anyway, Steve, that's enough chin wagging. Let's get onto the game. So here we go. Let's go over five games that are on the Oculus Quest that this is supported by natively. So you can actually feel the real world and get entirely immersed in your virtual reality games. Let's get started. One of my favorite haptic immersive experiences is this zombie title, Death Horizon Reloaded, where you're trying to make your way through a laboratory where a virus has spread, causing the undead to become flesh-eating COVID idiots. 
The game has a cooperative mode as well, so you and a friend, if you've got double the haptic gear, can have an insane time together. With the haptics, you can feel explosions from a distance, the rumble in the environment. You can feel the difference between firing a shotgun, that intense recoil, to the slightly less recoil, the tippy tap a pistol recoil. And also the horrible part, when you're surrounded by zombies and you can feel them touching you all over, and not in a nice way, it's very, very creepy. It's also helpful to be more aware of your surroundings. If you get hit from behind, of course, you're gonna feel it on your back. And what made this experience even more immersive for me was adding a stock to shoot your assault rifle. This is one of my favorite haptic memories. It's implemented so well on this game, feeling that recoil, feeling the power of the shot in your shoulder. Feel the recoil, it's so intense. I love it. I love it. Next is Crisis Brigade, the game that's coined the time crisis of VR, and that has kind of a slapstick comedic vibe to it. The sequel though does have a more gritty intense feel, but I'm going to be talking about the first game here. So this one has a fun non-realistic art style, and you play the police force trying to take out all of the terrorists to stop them blowing up the building. You have to make your way through tons of enemies, and this game is tough, so you have to pop out quickly and shoot them as fast as you can, so you've got to be accurate and get your squat game on. When you get shot, you feel such a serious thud in your chest or your head, depending on what haptics you're wearing, and it kind of makes you jump sometimes. And you also have recall when firing the weapons, so you can feel it in your pectorals and in your forearms. It's a nice touch. I like it. You guys, you feel the difference. The pistol's just a little pop, pop, pop. The assault rifle, much more, much more brutal. Just poke your head out a little bit. Ah, I got the shot. I felt it. Hyper Dash, the most addictive experience for at least myself on the Oculus Quest and virtual reality as a whole, this is a fast-paced, nail-biting action shooter experience where you'll face off in several game modes across the globe in games such as Team Deathmatch, Domination, Payload, where you have to get a package to the other side of the map. The game has dashes and grind rails, a fun art style, and sometimes screaming kids. But this game does support B haptics natively on the Oculus Quest, so you can feel getting shot in the head with a charged shot, getting shot from behind, feeling the recoil of your weapons. And something that I really, really loved is that when you dash, the arm that you dash with, you can feel like a pulse run through it as you're dashing forward. And when you're sprinting, you kind of feel your lower back activate as if you're draining battery power from the robot. It's so brilliant also has that vibration like you just teleported and the end and the powers come from the hand you've teleported to so that's the left one oh my God. that feels solid next is synth riders the rhythm game that has one of the most insane musical experiences you can have in vr it's muse algorithm experience a must try so in this game you have to hit colored markers to the musical beat this game does get compared to beat saber although it has a more retro dance like vibe to it and the way it's designed, it gets you grooving much more than Beat Saber does. And as the name suggests, you will be riding synth waves. So when you hit these markers, you can feel the haptics pulsate to the beat of the music, which is quite a nice feeling. And what really got me about this was though, when you're riding the synth wave, it's almost like you're creating really intense tension, almost like you're feeling the power of riding that wave. It was actually kind of creepy, very, very well implemented. Oh, when you ride, you feel it in your back as well. <laughs> Next is In Death Unchained, a roguelike experience where you're trying to save the realms, preventing heaven and hell from falling into chaos. And you will traverse across these spiritual realms and sometimes creepy environments full of strange creatures, trying to avoid their attacks, but use your bow and arrow to take them out. One of the most loved bow and arrow titles on the Oculus Quest that also has this kind of tower defense-like mode which is super fun too. And with the haptics, when you're pulling back on that arrow, you can feel the tension of your bow. The more you pull it back, the more intense that feedback. It was quite a nice feeling and something that I enjoyed as well when playing the defensive mode is that when you have a really large creature there and they're stomping on the ground, you can feel the earth shaking through the haptics. And it was such a strange feeling to be able to see this large creature. It gave it such presence. It definitely elevated that experience. Uh, what is that noise? Oh, I can feel it. I can feel his footsteps. Everything's like, boom, like the ground's shaking. Oh. That's actually nuts. 
Well, that's it from me today, guys. They were five games that support this haptic vest, negatively on the Oculus Quest. There are more games as well, so please comment down below if you want to see more of them. And just to be clear, this is being played on the Oculus Quest, nothing else. I'm not connecting it to a computer. I can take my Quest and this vest anywhere in the world and be able to have these kinds of experiences. So as I said, to let you guys know, there is a chance to win the X16 tax suit. So if you want to enter, please subscribe to the channel. And there is a link down below on how to enter that for a chance to win one of these vests. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please subscribe for next time because I've got videos coming out all the time and I wouldn't want you to miss out. Happy gaming, guys. Good day.